Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPhone app review for TurboScan by Pixoft. This application is in the business category, works best on an iPhone or iPod Touch, currently selling for $1.99. This app allows you to turn your iPhone into a portable scanner, scanning just about anything. You can air print, email, and much more. Let's check it out. Currently have it opened up to all of the different documents I've scanned in. We can tap on one of them, and this is a random flyer laying around the house. Yes, Ulta, I know, pretty exciting. But if you tap on the bottom with the box with the arrow coming out, you can see all of the different send options, which is really what makes this app rather cool. You can email to yourself, and you can also set that email to yourself up in settings to go to a specific email with a specific subject. Email is a PDF, email is a JPEG image, open in PDF in, and this is cool, actually opens up in the different programs you have in your iPhone 4S or iPod Touch, whatever you're using. Cancel out of there, head back to the box, and you can also open or print rather and save to your camera roll. Now, that's great and everything, but how did we get that image in there? Well, there's three different ways. You can use your camera, uh, just taking a normal picture, and you can do more than one page. So if you have a business card, you can take the first shot. It'll say take the second shot, and you can actually put the two images together like I did with one of my business cards. You can also do sure scan three times, which is their proprietary scanning method. Very cool. That's the one we're going to focus on. And you can also absorb a picture off of your camera roll or import from your camera roll, however you want to say it. So let's go ahead and put our business card down here and I'm going to put it up a little higher. We'll tap on SureScan. They give you a little bit of a message and they tell you take three pictures in the document and they give you some directions. We're going to go ahead and um, fly through that. You can also disable that if you're not a fan of that after the first time. So let's push our picture up there and what we do is you take a picture of it, focus it in, take another picture, that's the first one, go for the second one and then we're going to take our third one and now what it does is it gives us a chance to actually um, crop this, this image. So I'm going to focus in just a bit so you can get a better view of this. Now you have the little red arrows or the little, the little bubbles on the top. Take that and you're going to, whoops, let's go back. Let's adjust frame. Take this. I hit the done instead. And when you do that, you can see it pop down and it really uh, goes into like a micro view or focuses in on the area. So again, grab your little pink slot, you can drop it down, go to the top of the card, very nice, go to the bottom, do the same thing, drag it up to the card, and continue with this until you got it just the way you want it. When you're done, it'll actually give you a chance and it does distort the color a bit and you can change the color you can also change from black and white to color being the normal view when you import photos but it's pretty good put next and it goes into your file now you can tap on this and it'll give you a better view and you can actually pull it up so that is very cool a very nice feature so you can read it or whatever you can print this at this point do whatever you want do all the other send options now that was a pretty shiny business card it wasn't a blank document but um, actually let's get out of here and let's close this out and then we're back into our queue of all of our documents now on the top left you have your settings the help is in here very important even step by step email to yourself is in here and they give you the instructions for that as well as tips for scanning you can go into document storage and generate PDFs this is a very cool feature not only can you email and send your stuff through um, the application but you can also through iTunes connect uh, offload all of the documents that you've saved in here through iTunes connect tether your iPhone go through there scroll down in the app section when you're syncing or after you're done syncing and you can offload all your documents to your um, your PC or your Mac. Show prompt for scan input. You can set up your email to yourself with your email address. You can choose whether you want to attach a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG. You can even put in a different subject, body, and so on. Very extensive. Also, attaching the file size can be, you know, low to medium. Again, that's dealing with quality and time that it takes. And then you can have black and white processing on or color set as default. Also, down there, you can have default page size. It's a very cool app definitely one that I'm keeping on my iPhone 4s for those times when I want to scan documents and keep them in my iPhone or send them to whoever until next time this has been crazy Mike from crazy Mike's apps saying see ya